Alrighty y'all, so I decided to do this video at the very last minute as you can tell. Um, I decided that I was going to go back and start, you know, doing different things with my hair like I used to do when I was in college. And one of those things was Bantu knots. Um, clearly I've already started with this side, um, so you guys are going to watch me do this side. Um, and then in the morning we'll see how they come out hopefully they come out good because I want to go back to doing protective styles like I used to especially now that my hair is short um, so that's just what I want to do um, I am working with two day old hair um, I washed it two days ago um, and I didn't do anything to it only thing I put in it I put a little bit of um, this oil combination that I concocted up I put some of that in it but otherwise than that I haven't done anything to it since I washed it I decided I was going to brush everything out and then it's kind of been like this for the past two days like I just brushed it all out and then it air dried and then this is what I got so I decided I was going to do band two knots here's one side you guys are about to watch me do this side so here we go. So what I'm doing right now is I just sectioned off a little section um, and I'm going to use this Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, the coconut and hibiscus line as the styling cream that I'm using. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit, not that much, but just enough to get a nice hold on this hair. And you guys, I used to do this all the time in college, but in college my hair was way longer than this. <laughs> so it's kind of weird doing it because the ends are so short and so blunt that like once I get going it's like, whoop, this end of your hair, no more hair. I need to learn how to do... Um, I need to teach myself how to put, um, what do you call them, flexi rods? Yeah, I need to teach myself how to do that. Because I really like how those curls come out. Oh, it's so short. I really like how flexi rod curls come out, but I don't really know how to put them in. And then to keep them and hold in place, I just put a little rubber band around it. And then... And then hopefully it lasts all night. Hopefully. If it doesn't, oh well. <gasps> I'm not going nowhere tomorrow besides the gym. And these parts, um, these parts don't have to be necessarily even, so to say, because once I comb it out, I don't want any distinct lines in my hair anyway. Um, but I am making sure that there's no knots in the hair before I twist it or else it'll get this real choppy like um, curl and I don't want that. I want them to be a nice smooth curl but I just don't want distinctive parts. Granted the part down the middle of my head is very distinctive but I kind of wear middle parts now so I'm okay with that but it's the rest of the hair that I don't want like distinctive parts or like just strictly boxes so to say so I kind of just finger part it with my finger and then I just go about adding the product and twisting it and holding it down with a rubber band and I really hope my bathroom fan isn't obnoxiously loud throughout this video because the way they wired this house as soon as you turn the light on, the fan comes on, and there's no additional switch to turn it off, and all the bathrooms are like that. So, in order for me to do my hair and have a mirror and see, you gotta hear the noise. So, we're gonna twist, and then I try not to twist too tight at the root, because once you start wrapping the hair around itself, it gets tighter on its own. So... Twist around. That's the end of it. Rubber band. 
So, that's pretty much how I do it. And now I got two. And I got this whole side. So, we're gonna finish and yeah. Right when you get your braids freshly done, oh, jeez, they so tight. I look retarded. Oh man. So I'm gonna go through with this little oil mixture that I made, and I'm just gonna oil the roots of my head so it'll be nice and moist. Nothing major. I'm just gonna go through the parts with the oil. That way I stay nice and moisturized. I don't dry out my scalp. All ridiculous foolishness. Whew. These bitches is tight. Need some more oil. Alright. So, just gonna oil my scalp down. Then we're gonna put a scarf on this. And we're gonna go to bed. They loosen up because they tight. Where's my scarf? Yeah, so we're just gonna put this on it and we're gonna call it a night. And I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon when I take these out. So, see you tomorrow. So, it is day, this is going on day two. I untwisted, oh, I gotta watch my baby. I untwisted the Bantu knots out yesterday, just one by one, because they were really uncomfortable to sleep with. So I just twisted them out one by one, and I kind of just let my hair breathe. I kind of wanted the, the knots to fall a little bit more, because when I took them out, they were originally really, really tight. So this is the outcome. They were tighter than this yesterday. Um, so as you can see, the parts where I was having difficulties at the end, obviously you can tell because the ends are really, really blunt and I couldn't twist them all the way. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to start to unravel these. Now I don't necessarily want perfect coils. So if they come out frizzy and fuzzy a little bit, that's okay with me because I kind of like the extra volume that they give. So to separate them, I'm just going to literally just finger through them. And then I'll worry about how I'm going to style it later. But as you can see, so I just kind of unravel it at the root. Take my fingers and kind of just separate them and then let them fall how they fall. So I unravel at the root and then just let my fingers do the rest of the work. I'm okay with it being like chunky pieces here, thicker pieces there. I just want them separated. I kind of remember now why I stopped doing bantu knots because the curls are too defined for my preference. Ugh. Yeah, the curls are a little bit too defined for my preference, but I am going to leave them like this for a while just so I have something other than straight combed out hair um and i'm probably just gonna style it and just go about my day so i am going to get my wide tooth comb just to kind of separate it a little bit I think I put too much product in the hair because it just feels so thick and, you know, gunky. Oh, I don't look crazy. Kind of don't like this. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? keep this hair in or keep this hairstyle like this before I wash it out maybe another two days depending on how I feel um, 
Yeah, I'll probably keep it in for another two days. I think I, I honestly, I feel like I added too much product because my, my hands even feel like really oily and gunky. And usually when I do Bantu knots, I usually use oil to unravel them. But yesterday when I unraveled it, I didn't feel like I needed it because it just was so, I guess, moist. It wasn't wet, but it wasn't dry so to say but this is the finished look i'm not gonna do anything else to it because i'm gonna go to the gym today so thank you guys for watching this video if you want to leave comments down below for people who also have short hair let me know what protective styles you guys do yeah i don't really like this this was this was a this was a fail fail but the goal for 2019 was to relearn my hair um especially since i cut it off and i never had short hair before so this is step one to achieving my goals for 2019 but this probably won't do this again i mean it's not that bad i guess it just wasn't what i was picturing in my mind and I feel like if I didn't use that much product, maybe it wouldn't have turned out like this. But it is what it is. And I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to embrace it because it could be worse. And I'm just going to roll with the punches and go with it. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye.